that we've seen how to manage contacts and sales funnels, I'm going to show you how to send and manage emails on system.io. And of course, you want to send emails and make use of email marketing. So on system, there are two main functionalities under emails, newsletters and campaigns. Let's go to newsletters. A newsletter is an email that you send manually to your contact list. You can choose which tags to include and exclude and edit all kinds of details. Let's go ahead and create one together. Say that this is perhaps an email about a new offer for September. You can change your sender name to whatever your name is and then change your sender email address. I'm going to use Natasha at Pinto.com. Now we do have a visual editor for your emails with two fantastic templates, but we suggest that you use the classic editor. Remember guys, it's been proven that plain text emails convert better because they don't look like a commercial email. Select create. And there you go. Your email has just been started. Here is where you can put in any text you would like. Hey there, I would like to dot, 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 whatever you want to write. Over here, you can add attachments. Here, you can choose to include tags. And over here, you can exclude whichever tags you like. And there are a list of available substitutes to make your email extremely personalized and more likely to convert. Over here is a really useful tool. You have the option to exclude people who've subscribed less than however many days you would like. This is a great idea if you've got an automated email campaign already running that you send to new leads. You can select however many days you want it to be. You can save and send a test email or save and schedule this newsletter. So let's go ahead and click on that. And there you go. Your email is saved and scheduled. Now let's go take a look at our campaigns. Now, as you can see, I haven't got any campaigns, so let's create one together. Let's say that this campaign is for a five day coaching course. Over here, you can add a description as well. Click save campaign and there you go. To edit this campaign, simply select it and then we can go ahead and add an email to this campaign. The sender name is going to be the same as the others. I'm going to stick to using my email address and then perhaps this is the first step on an automated email sequence that you want to offer a product on. I'm going to select the classic editor again and click create. Here you can add any text you would like. For example, here is your freebie. If you're going to give them a free bit of content first, you can add any attachments you like, save and send a test email, simply save the email or save and publish it. It's really up to you. What is important to note is that here in your sender email address, you cannot use Gmail or Yahoo email addresses. This is because of the DMARC policy where they do not allow you to send from those addresses because it's not from their server. It's also really bad for your deliverability. So we strongly suggest that you purchase your own domain name. They're available online for like seven to 10 bucks a year. And then you can create a mailbox and create an email address with your domain name to seriously increase those conversions. Let's click on save for this email. And then let's go ahead and take a look at this last option on emails statistics. This email dashboard gives you detailed analytics on all of the emails that you've sent and created. It's very important. You can see the exact number of emails that have been sent the percentage of how many of those have been opened, the percentage of spam reports for each opened email. Now these spam reports mean that someone has manually gone and selected report this mail as spam. And then the average percentage of bounced emails, which has to do with poor deliverability. Remember, there are two main features in this email functionality, newsletters, which are manual and campaigns, which are automated emails. Now I have some extremely important advice for you. When you get started, don't make it complicated for yourself. Create an email campaign. Write down an outline. The first email could be hello. The second email could be some content. The third, you could respond to an objection. The fourth, etc. Plan that outline. You can make it last for five days or even up to two weeks. But remember, 
Don't make it too long because it's very hard to create then and even more difficult to maintain. Then you can spend an afternoon or two writing those emails and setting them up. As soon as that's done, you are good to go. Remember guys, done is better than perfect. Once it's set up, this email campaign will work on autopilot for years. And you can always go back and edit it to improve it. The point is you've got to start as soon as possible. Don't delay. Another thing that we advise you to do is send email newsletters regularly. Set up a schedule and stick to it, whether it is one email weekly, bi-weekly or even monthly. Don't stop sending emails for a month or more and then try to come back. People will have forgotten you. I'll see you in the next video where I'm going to show you how to use System to automate your business.